What's going on video? Welcome to a brand new guys. When was the last time that we had a vlog? I don't know. So today is a vlog day. Now I know we haven't done any sort of tour of this house, but I got a big, big upgrade and I, I just have to show you guys. It can't wait for the house video tour. It can't wait. Guys, I got a pool. Do you see that? I can go splash around in there. Welcome to my splash park. Welcome to my freaking splash park. Now a lot of people might be like, wow, that's a, that's a mini pool. But you know, I'm just a mini guy trying to get in a mini pool. And on this side of this fence, I have the deeper end. And this side is the shallow kiddie pool end. This water decided to run into this fresh sod, create what is now a mud pit. Completely ruin the sod that's here. So the home builder was like, we'll put this fence here. So then none of the water, you know, none of the mud gets over there. So what the water decided to do was uh, come underneath of this fence, underneath of this newer patch of sod and out this side. So it was literally, you can, you can see where it's not connected. The water just ran underneath of the sod. Homeowner problems. Homeowner problems, homeowner problems. Don't buy a house, solution. But I guess on the plus side of that, I do now have a pool in which I can swim in if I ever want to swim in some muddy water. Today's the big day where this office is having its first transformation, so I gotta kind of prep it. I just gotta move stuff out of the way. The local, ow, the local artist that I was talking about is coming. You guys will get to meet him. He's coming to paint the wall. All right, I think I've cleared this out enough that he can work obviously that'll have to be moved but that's that's fine but let's go get the supplies so he can do his magic i forgot the camera I guess that's one way to fill up your SD card like that. Leave it behind. So if I'm being honest, when I was choosing this paint out, I have no idea what kind of paints to choose from. No one was there to help. So I don't know what kind of paint I got. Hopefully it's correct. So I also got a little uh, a little project for myself to do. Check these out. Little backsplash, guys. Because as you can see, we don't have any backsplash. And I, I don't know. It's $10. So let's see if it looks. I guess I will have to go back and get more. Because that is not enough. Not at all. Okay, I got it all laid out here. But why did it come with this random extra piece? It's stuck. One side done. And if you look at it at this top angle, you can't see that bottom part that's missing. And how did I manage to actually get that correctly? Well, well I don't know, but call me a freaking handyman because that was handy. And I guess I will have to go back and get more because that is not enough. I think before, uh, my boy gets here, I should probably cover up the outlet. Ready? Darkness. I can use my finger now. That's what you get with the new home build. All good to go. Soon this will be cool looking. Soon. I just saw a camera and then I realized. What's up, man? What's up? This is the big room, man. This is it. Yeah. So for all the runs in the past, I've been using the Phoenix Pro 6, I think. I don't, I don't really know the name. I don't believe that the distance it's recording is accurate in any way. So I was using the Strava app for a while to track the distance to match it up, but then I'd forget the watch and I'd just be running with the phone. So today I'm gonna be testing out using the, the Vivo Active 45S compared to the Garmin Phoenix 6. Pro. It's seeing which one tracks an accurate distance or even pace. For example, two days ago I had a six mile run. I ran three miles out and supposedly three back, but I got to my start point 
and I was still short. So let's see if this watch is accurate. Am I the only one that has one pair of shoes specifically dedicated to running outside in crappy weather and one pair specifically dedicated to running in good weather? That also goes for the treadmill. I have a designated pair of shoes for the treadmill. All right, on the right hand is the Vivo Active and on the left is the Phoenix 6. Still don't know the name of it. Let's see which one's more accurate. How do you even start them at the same time? I don't know. Imagine, imagine I left the camera in here again. <laughs> So the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Solar had exactly three miles. I stopped that one exactly at three. The other one that I wore on my right wrist, I believe it was the Vivo Active 43. That one came in at 3.05. So it was off by 0 0.05 of a mile. So it was inaccurate. Sorry, I forgot the microphone. Okay, back to the video. So the reason I forgot the audio is because the Rode microphone I used to have, it's still missing. So this is the old one where you actually have to manually go to turn it on. Another thing I forgot to mention was also that the heart rate was noticeably different. On the Phoenix, it was around 140 the entire run. And on the Vivo, it was 160 pushing 170 at the end, like the high 170s. Muffin is home. It's time to feed the artiste. And what are we gonna get? Ooh, I don't know. Let me show you the best food around town and where I live. Sydney and I have eaten there probably about six times. What's the best restaurant where we live? Bootleg barbecue. What is it? Bootleg barbecue. What's your favorite restaurant? Bootleg barbecue. Bootleg barbecue. Barbecue. I'm not the only one that thinks that this is the best place to exist near me. Take Sydney's word for it. Bag secured. Ooh. I hear food. Bootleg boy. Bootleg barbecue. Yes. We think so. It's wings. It's wings. Hot and sticky. Genuinely though, if you're yeah, ever in Louisville, calendar. bootleg barbecue. It's like an best. How was that bootleg? Flame. <laughs> it was just flame. <laughs> <laughs> them wings was on point. Them wings was on point. Guys, it's the next day and I woke up not only to the painting not being finished, because you know it's gonna take an extra day. Bro, I have a waterfall. Look at this. I got a waterfall now. It's so sweet. Oh my God. Three upgrades. What a fantastic thing to wake up to. Buy a house. But yeah, the painting is not done. So I'm just gonna cut to when it is done. Cause I feel like this video being two days is gonna drag on. But last night I didn't film it. I did finish this. So now we have the backsplash, although I'm missing one spot. <clears throat> Actually, let's take a look. Let's, let's take a look at how the painting looks.
You already saw it? I did. Oh, I was gonna film your reaction. It looks really good though. Oh, I like your signature. That looks dope. I can't wait to see it when it's all dry. I love it. Put your hand <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall back. Look at that cholo stance. Did you say cholo stance? <laughs> <laughs> Lean the heads in closer. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that one's actually pretty good right there. Are you gonna shout out for the video? Oh, let me let me get that. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity. I hope you like it. You feel me? I hope you get some dope footage in front of it. A little death. Like Elmer Lopez art, yeah, coming <laughs> back at you. <laughs> I was like, shout out to who? What the fuck are you talking about? But yeah, Elmer Lopez art, check it. And it's all done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, still leave a thumbs up. Sydney, how would you rate this wall? 14 out of five. The office is coming together now. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do it. I really want to though. I want to. You can. You can end it. Ah. Uh, have a good day. That was absolute trash.